looking at the um, year 1961, yes, when President Kibaki is plucked from Makerere University, mm. a newly married gentleman, mm. the sacrifices he makes to join his country in planning for independence, even writing an independent constitution, mm. and to solve the problems, particularly the economic uh, plan that, that the colonial government has done, mm. it's a very rare sacrifice, particularly that we don't see from the current crop yeah. um, of politicians. Mm. Mm. Uh, Kibaki was a peculiar man in so many ways, okay? Mm. Uh, he's actually one of the longest, if not the longest serving uh, member of parliament, which is, by the way, in yeah. the area, yeah. uh, meaning that he got into politics at a very early age. And if only Kenyans would have given him power when he first sought it, you remember when that in was, 92? Uh, in 1992, mm. uh, if we had believed in him because he was not a political uh, politician mm. in terms of what we would call politics because we love people who lie the best we love people who love telling stories when they are looking for votes <laughs> Kibaki was such a gentleman that if he said it's doable it's doable mm. if it's not doable it's not doable and so the, the, he was called so many names and I wish that Kenyans believed in him but today uh, only 10 years of his presidency defined this nation. And so having someone like Kibaki, uh, moving forward, we can pick so much from him. Let us not even look at how political you are. Let us m concentrate more on how agenda-oriented of a person you are. Because if we had gotten Kibaki to be president like 20, 30 years ago, then if we, we, we borrowed this uh, the, 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 uh, the economic model from, from, uh, from South Korea, mm. then it means we could be somewhere near... Mm. No, uh, South Korea. Mm. What is South Korea known for? Look, it is all the things that Kibaki stood for. Mm. Industrialization, uh, uh, quality education, infrastructures, uh, you know, good manufacturing. And when you look at the things Kibaki was doing, are not political. Those are the things that he implemented. Mm. And so I wish that moving forward we shall be able to be able uh, to pick a Kibaki, who is not a political but a more uh, an economic oriented person mm. yes and looking at pre-independence kenya and a bit of post-independence mm -hmm. um because the people who actually got to get kibaki from makerere mm -hmm. are the late tom Boyer yes and uh mzee jaramogi Oginga Odinga. yes then. it appeared like merit mattered yes. to a pre-independence kenya than it does now yes, uh, yes because all we consider today mm -hmm. is tribe mm -hmm. other than you know the capabilities of Yes, people. yes, yes. I, I think back then common sense was very common to mm. so many people. <laughs> Merit mattered and uh, they were able to pick brains. It did not matter from what tribe you came from. Mm. They picked brain because we were, we were a young nation. We were just learning how to to crawl, not even walk. Mm. And so they needed every other brain out there to come and serve this nation. And I don't know at what point we are ever going to go back there because today it is even po impossible for you to get into power without a godfather. Mm. This godfather has to speak the same language as you, either corruption, he has to speak the same language where you come from, you know. Mm. And so I wish that we would be able, I don't know, they say the more things change, the more they remain the same. But in this country, mm. <laughs> the more things are changing, the more they are changing for us. Mm. Uh, I wish we could be able now to go for brains to... We, we are in a place in this country that only brains and character can save us. Mm. And so we need to start even as voters looking for that, such kind of people. Mm. Because if we expect these godfathers who are at the helm of this country to pick these brains for us, who do not... Uh, you, you don't have a good name. Whose son are you? Where do you come from? Who is your father? If we able now to pick someone who can be able to help this nation, I think that is the way to...